Welcome to Casting Cajun. We're aboard Woo! Good Vibrations, Deontay, dreams come true, kid. And we're out here making his dream come true. So get ready for an exciting half hour, and I mean a really exciting half hour of Casting Cajun. Get it. Aston Cajun is brought to you by Thibodeau Regional Medical Center for expert, compassionate care. Grafton Dermatology, specializing in diseases of the skin, hair, nails, and cosmetic surgery. Cajun Home Improvements, the last roof you'll ever buy. Don's Wholesale, your truck superstore with the largest selection of pre-owned trucks in Louisiana. Homeatravel.com. Experience world-class fishing in the heart of Louisiana. Visit homeandtravel.com. And by Tony Sacheries. Makes everything taste great. Come on, buddy. Take your time like that. 
You're gaining all the time, my friend. You're gaining all the time. All right. It's such an amazing fight, I'm impressed. I should have told you to work out before this. That's that Well, right now, I'll butter Deontay's got uh, a wish he asked for, and he's second guessing himself right now. He <laughs> <laughs> wish he asked for something smaller. <laughs> He's got, uh, from the jump that we saw, the fish made about four times so far. I'd estimate he was pretty good distance, but I'd estimate him somewhere around 350, 400. And he's doing a wonderful job, man. Keep it up, Lou. Uh, I am impressed. Stand by, buddy. We got mono. Look at it. Look at the color of the string. We got mono. We, we got, got mono. mono That's buddy. a good thing. That's a good sign. That's closer. a wonderful sign. That means you only have two more miles to go. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding you, Tiger. It's only a mile. <laughs> Deontay stayed up all night. It was after midnight before he came in, just catching trout. First time he does any saltwater fishing. He fished off the dock, had some lights. He caught trout all night. Got in at 12.30. I went to bed at 1. I could hear him in the shower at 1 o'clock. By 3.15, I got up to go wake him up this morning. He was already dressed, had <laughs> ready to go. It's actually some pin 50s. Uh, he hit the 50. We, the 80s were out, but he, he hit, hit the 50. He 50 hit the 50. Wide. We, uh, we had both 50, real, 50, real 50 wide and 80 wide pinning the Nationals out, and he hit the 50. My new buddy, Billy Palmazano, uh, best deckhand in the world. Tell us what kind of bait he ate there, Billy. Uh, he ate a uh, large Polakai caveman frigate skirt, 300-pound leader, 30-foot a leader. Uh, we got him buttoned up pretty good. We'll see if it holds to the boot. Now, you know why I didn't try to remember what that was and say it? <laughs> like Billy was saying, we're fishing Mississippi Canyon. We're about 75 miles offshore. Left out of Grand Island. Uh, Boy, the good vibrations. Go, baby. Go, baby. One hour and three three bottles of water later, he's still at it. I guess. I guess. All right, Giante. You, know, you know what happens when a man catches them all? No oh, way. Uh, immediately after. You get thrown overboard, man. <laughs> <laughs> but we do pick you back up. Sorry about not telling you that before. <laughs> Deontay's been fighting this fish about an hour and a half. Our uh, Captain Ed's pulling the boat forward, which is pulling a little bit line out. Kind of uh, hurting Deontay's feelings, but uh, the reason is to get a better angle on the fish. I think I think Deontay's getting mad at that fish now. Got his second win, man. That's all those uh, waters and four waters and three Capri suns. So Turk, who do you think is going to win this battle, Deontay or the Marlin? Well, Deontay's already proven to us that he's got a lot of fight in him, so I think I'm putting my money on Deontay. I'm with you. Folks, don't go away. You want to stay tuned and see what happens after this commercial break. That's his last one. That's his last one. Right we here. Well, Ooh, come on. There he is. Go, go. There he is. There he is. All right, he's up. He's up. He's up. He's up. He's up. Go down. Go, 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 go. Don't reel. Don't reel. Don't do anything. 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 Don't worry about that. Just, just stay right where you are. Don't worry about it. We got it on recording. We got it recording.
Too big to kill it. Huh? Huh? Too big to kill it. Yeah. Look at that, D. Come at me. Look at that, huh? Deontay, I'm up here, buddy. Hey, give me a thumbs up, D. Give me a thumbs up. Yes, sir. Blue Marlin, baby! Blue Marlin! Give me a thumbs up, D. Well, Captain Ed and I were talking a minute ago and said uh, he had one prayer this morning, that God would look down on Deontay. And thank you, Lord, you did. Man, about a 450-pound blue marlin in this first fish. That's bigger than any fish I ever caught, man. Oh, you having a good time, my brother? Yes, indeed. So did your dream come true? Yes. All right. Man, he got on that fish, fought it for a good two hours, and uh, he was in a dead sleep. We wanted to give him lessons. I was going to have the captain or, or Billy give him lessons on how to fight the fish in the fighting chair, but uh, we didn't have a chance. We got the lines out about 15 minutes. That, that huge fish got on, and the battle was on. And uh, everybody took turns holding the rod and helping him out. And, but he did all the reeling himself, never gave up. A real game man there. I mean, got a heart like a lion. St. Jude has a, their own clinic down in Baton Rouge. Uh, kids can go there and receive treatments so they're not traveling back and forth all the time to the Memphis clinic. And we go there to the St. Jude clinic, Troop A uh, affiliate, and we bring gifts and visit with the kids in uniform. Deontay's a cool kid. He, uh, we met him up at the St. Jude clinic down in Baton Rouge. Uh, he had told us he loved fishing, and uh, that's how he got started. Told us he'd love to take a fishing trip. And from there, we took it and ran. We, I met with Mr. Tony Fontenot, and Mr. Tony was all on board to help us take this child fishing, and we spent an awesome time down in Grand Isle on a trip with him. No more chemo is, uh, is when a child is going into remission, they're receiving their last chemo treatment. We go on that day, and it's basically a birthday party for that child who does not need chemo anymore. We bring cakes and presents, and the whole family comes. We have food, and it's a big party for that child. It's a, it's a big day. We must not forget those officers. Those officers, they gave their life. They paid the ultimate sacrifice. And from state police and all the other agencies, we truly appreciate everything that the public has done to reach out to us and support. And we're here for you. We're here for the public. That's our job. So anything you need, you contact us, and that's what we're here for. Thank y'all. We got our marlin. Now we picked up. Drove about another 25 miles, we're 100 miles offshore now. We found a rip. Now's our chance to catch a bull dolphin. See what happens. Ah, look at him. Hey, Gary, you getting this? Damn, what you get for laying down with fools? But now at night, I'll get down. Oh, by the levee on sacred ground. You got a fish? Yeah, that's not a big one. A...
That's a lightweight after, after catching that ball. That's a lightweight compared to that other one. Huh? You can eat this one, though, Deontay. That's what we were eating last night. See him. See him. Keep on coming. Almost here. That's his. That's his butt now. Woo! That's. Oh. Best deck hand in the world. This casting Cajun cooking segment is brought to you by Tony Sashries makes everything taste great. Okay, what I'm cooking for you now is tuna tacos. It's one of our special appetizers here. Um, it's on the menu all the time. We start off with fresh tuna. We only use fresh tuna. As local and as fresh as we get it. Hopefully it's swimming in the, the Gulf the day before. This is a spin on a number of dishes I've had and kind of uh, put together myself. It could be wontons, it could be uh, fish tacos. It's a little bit of everything all twisted in one, but it's a nice little appetizer. It's usually not what you expect. It's a small taco. It has a, it's a big bang for a little taco. First thing I do is uh, marinate it with our tuna marinade. And we let it sit for just a little while. It don't have to penetrate the meat real much. It's our seasoning more than a marinade. Now we're gonna put it on the grill and uh, just to infuse a little smoke into it. We're not trying to cook the fish. We're just trying to get that next element of flavor is all we're gonna do. Now we're gonna flip it on both sides and just for about 30 seconds, just so that, that smoke's infused in there and we're gonna take it off. We're taking it off now and we're gonna dice it. I'm gonna dice this tuna real nice and we're gonna put it in a mixing bowl. Once it's in the mixing bowl, we're gonna add cilantro, red onions, red bells, just to a, a, uh, complement the tuna. We're gonna season it with some soy glaze and some more of our tuna marinade. Our next step, we're, gonna, we're making our slaw. It's an Asian slaw, so we're gonna put our Asian twist on it. We're gonna add cilantro, and we're gonna add well, wasabi cream to it. Once we have all our components together, we're gonna take our wonton wrappers and we're gonna fry it. The way we fry wontons is um, we use these little, this neat little taco basket and they go right in the fryer for 30 seconds. Once they're done and formed, I'm gonna take them all, I'm, I'm gonna take them to the table and we're gonna add our slaw and top it with our tuna. And then we're gonna drizzle some wasabi cream on top and soy sauce. Hopefully when, when a customer gets this dish, they're gonna be surprised. It has a lot of components for a very small dish. You're gonna bite into it and you're gonna get a texture of the shell. You're gonna get a crunch of the, the cabbage and then you get the, the pop of the, the tuna. The tuna's gonna be a little spicy and sweet and your cabbage is gonna have that wasabi kind of heat to it. It's gonna, it should be a nice, nice starter for your meal. Let's get Tony in there and, and try these tacos. This looks great, Chef. Good. Mm. Not only looks great, tastes great too. Awesome fish tacos. Different than any fish tacos I've ever had. Possibly my favorite. Good. Hurricane Hole, Grand Isle, Louisiana. Come and get you some. We started out about 75 miles offshore, dropped the lines. Um, we we're trolling. Marlin was our first choice. Wahoo and Dolphin are second and third. Made two passes. We were blessed to have a huge Marlin jump on. Deontay fought him for over two hours. And he won the battle, saw the beautiful fish, released it, lived to fight another day. Made a few more runs, nothing was happening. Picked up the lines. Captain Ed took us out about 100 miles. We found a rip, fished the rip, hooked up on a beautiful bull dolphin around 40 pounds. Deontay got that one in with no problem. It was a piece of cake after fighting that Marlin for two hours. Luckily, he had a, a couple hours rest in between. 
as you can tell, it's not only been a great day, but it's been a long day. We left at 4 o'clock this morning. It's after 8 o'clock tonight. Had a great day. Captain and the crew did an awesome job. Deontay, you did a great job, my man. Thank you very much. Came out here, caught a big old marlin today. And a big dolphin. You got it, buddy. You're quite welcome, dude. I think we got a happy young man here. Did, did your dream come true? Yes, sir. First day fishing offshore, he beat my record, beat Captain Ed's record, beat most of our records. Well, as always, we got to give a special thanks to our military, both our active troops and our veterans. So until next time, keep, keep on, on casting. casting. Boudreaux got a job as a police officer. And on his first traffic stop, he asked the motorist for his license, looks it over, says, I'm gonna have to give you two tickets, one for speeding and one for not wearing your glasses. It says right here on your license, under restrictions, that you've gotta wear your glasses when you drive. Motorist looks up at him and says, I want you to know I've got contacts. Boudreaux said, I don't care who you know. Get what you got, baby, open your eyes and wake up, honey, now.